This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Jared is in Milwaukee. Hi, Jared. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, thanks. Sure. What's up? I've got some cash stashed aside for eventually a house purchase. Um, right now, I'm 23 years old, renting an apartment. I'm single. I make about 90000 a year. Um, my monthly rent is right around $1,000, and I've got around $270,000 saved up for a house. <laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> you are a stud, man. Way to go. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. I you get, know I how weird that know. is, right? Not really. It's weird. It's a good weird. Is it? When I call you weird around here, it's a compliment because normal's broke and stupid in America. Okay. You don't want to be normal. You're amazing, man. Way to go. Thanks. 275,000. Where is it? Under the mattress? It's, it's all at a bank. That's all a good. local credit union. Right now it's making about 4%. Not bad. That's okay. So, I mean, in all reality, that 4% covers my monthly rent right now. I just don't know if there's a better route, better plan, better something that I can use that money for to make more. What's your timeline? When do you think you're going to do the, uh, do the house purchase? Probably in the next three years. Okay. All right. Well, here's the number. Here's some numbers for you. Okay. There's really, that. there's really no me medium investment investing. There's conservative, which is in a savings account and you're not going to lose any money, but you're not going to make much money, which is where you are right now. You're making 4%. Okay. And there's yep. nothing wrong with that. If you park it there for the next three years, you're not going to make a bunch of money on your money, but you're not going to lose any money. And it turns out we already figured out what the secret sauce is. It's Jared. You're the secret sauce. It isn't the investment. None of that money, none of that 275,000 is in there because you are some kind of uh, big time investor. It's in there because you're a big time saver. Right? Yep. Okay. So you're the secret sauce. So it's okay if you leave it there. You follow me? Yep. Now, the other end of the spectrum is you could move some or all of the money towards something like an S&P 500 index mutual fund. All right? If you did that this year, I haven't pulled it up in a while. I'll try to do it. Hey, Ken, pull up S&P 500, see what the return is for the year while I'm yakking. I, it, I think it's north of 15% for the year right now, okay? But okay. the mutual funds, are that S&P follows what the stock market does. The stock market is up this calendar year from January to December. You follow me? Yep. I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And um, last time I looked was a couple months ago. It was up 15% for the year. And so, uh, but anyway, it could go down, though. If it went down 10%, you'd lose like 20,000 bucks. 26%, 26.2. For the year. For the year. Yeah, I thought it's way up. That, that's that's not realistic. Okay? Well, yeah, we've had a big jump. Yeah, we've got a big jump because interest rates went down and we got an election coming, all this stuff. So, okay. You, but anyway, the S&P has averaged about 11.6% since it began. So what I do, Jared, is I'll throw money in there knowing I could lose some, but if I make 10 instead of four, well, that's pretty good. That's another 6% yeah. on your 300,000. So that's another 20 grand or 30 grand you're making on your money. Okay. Yep. Okay. So if you want to move some of it, but, but you, you got to understand that can go down. Here's your actual numbers. 99% of the five year periods, any potential consecutive five years, 99 times out of a hundred have made money in the S and P. Since it began. Okay. Safe bet if you're going to leave it alone five years or more that you're going to be okay to put your money in that. Okay. 67%, two out of three times, it makes money on a three year period. Okay. Yep. So you got a one in three chance you lose some money with your plan if you move some that way. Now, I have been investing a long time and I've got a little extra money. This is very precious money for you, and you're young, and this is your first ride. So I don't know if you can emotionally handle losing $10,000 on this. Okay. 
But if you can and you want to move half of it over into S and P, you could do that fairly safely with a three year horizon. But you don't have to do that. You you can just sit where you are because truthfully, the reason you have money is because of Jared, not because of some sophisticated financial strategy. Okay. And so I, you know, let me just tell you, I think in your case, if I woke up in your shoes, it, 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 I would just tell you, keep it in that, in that 4% account. If you're just dying to try something, move 50 grand or something over into an S and P. But, um, but I, I just leave it there. I just think, I don't want you to become disillusioned uh, because you are, you've worked so hard for this money. Yeah. And I have the feeling he's planning to save up for an all cash purchase. It feels like that. We didn't ask, but he's already got 270. Man. So at that rate, what's he going to save over the next three years? A lot. Yeah. I mean, it, what if, if you're Jared's mom and dad <laughs> and you're listening, touchdown. Yeah. Way to go. You raised an adult. Freaking amazing. He's not a victim. Mm-hmm. He's not whining. He's not afraid of work. God, that's awesome. Lord, help us. Get us more Jarrett's. That's awesome. Way to go, man. Well done. Thanks for tuning in to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. To learn more about investing, visit RamseySolutions.com slash investing or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash smartvestor.